What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, today we're going to go over some new content predictions, sort of, trying to get your MT up, all that good stuff up. Yes, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, we are selling MT on PS4 and Xbox. If you guys want some MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Links in the description. And yes, guys, today... um. Are we going to get Prime tomorrow? We're going to go over what I think is going to come and whatnot. But yes, guys, please smash that like button, drop the sub. There is a huge market crash going on right now. So we're going to go over that. We're going to go over market. Should you sell your cards and get ready for Prime? What's going on? And yeah, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So a couple things I noticed, man. These super packs do end tomorrow. So we're going to get packs tomorrow. What packs? Now, we haven't had Flash in a long time. But I think at this stage in the game, whenever they drop tomorrow, it's going to create a crash. Because today, like I said, there is no uh, nothing. So today, we're going to probably get one locker code. And then tomorrow, most likely going to get, uh, what's it called? Prime, Flash, or a different type of promo. Then again, usually when they do drop the last Prime card, it's usually, what's it called? Usually when they do drop a Prime card, the market does rise a ton. Um, but we shall see what's going on. I might have to throw up my Lamar Odom right now, in which I'm probably going to do because Prime cards are very high. It's not a bad time to sell them right now. Don't forget, man, 2K21 was released and is dropping Friday. So that's hype in the chat, man. I'm throwing up both my Primes, honestly. And if it doesn't drop, you're going to see their prices drop a lot. So if Prime does not come out, prices will drop a lot. So that's, that's number one. That's just what I wanted to say on the first note, man. Prime, if it doesn't drop, you're going to see them drop a ton. Um, so I'm going to just take my W now and sell them. And I still have the whole entire set here ready to go. So that's a W. Trying to get my MT up for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, all the Primes are actually pretty overpriced right now. Paul George rocking around 5 something. Kawhi's probably around, yeah, Kawhi's around 550, 560. So as you can see, there's not a lot on the market. So if you do think Prime isn't going to drop, Make sure to sell your cards. That's what I think is going to happen. If Prime does not drop, you will see their cards drop like crazy. And if it does drop, you will see their cards rise like crazy. Either way, right now they're pretty peaked out. I think Paul George for 505, man, is pretty peaked out. So I threw up mine on the market. Um, I think they're 110% peaked out, bro. They are at a very high price. And I think it is a very good time to sell these cards especially if you're not doing the set me i want to sell this whole collection this collection one mil there is about 1.5 mil and then i have these cards here so i'm ready to go for the prime i might lock in for will i think it's going to be go will there's no other explanations it's either go will or go bill russell if they drop a gold lebron i'm locking in you guys know if they drop gold lebron this set will be worth about three mil no no joke you will see their prices rise like crazy. So it's completely up to you how you want to take this. But in my opinion, I do not think Prime is coming. I don't think they're ready for Prime. I'm not totally sure. But I'm pretty sure Prime isn't coming. I'm not sure. Uh, we look at these packs, man. They usually drop Prime Super Packs before it. But then again, man, these whole, every single person in this pack is now crashed, okay? Um, one person I really want to talk about and I feel like might be worth the investment is Magic Johnson Galaxy Opal. Um, 180,000 MT for literally a top 10 point guard in the game. He's nasty. Yeah, you might disagree he's a top 10, but yo, it's Magic Johnson. Not only that, there is a GOAT for about a million MT. Let's check out how much the GOAT is. I know the GOAT is insane, bro. But people are saying he's really not that good, even though his stats are all 99. So we're going to go over him. I guess there's like none on the auction. So let's see what he's going for. And I'm going to tell you my strategy here. So... Go Magic at 9:37 with one hour 37 left. In my opinion, man, comparing him to Lamelo, it's not really that big of a difference, guys. In my opinion, Lamelo does have a better jump shot, and he does feel a little bit faster than Magic Johnson. So it's completely up to you. Um, he does have less badges, yes, but I heard he does have very good tendencies for Lamelo. Yeah, bro, look at these tendencies, man. So the tendencies do play a big part in this game. 
as you can see, man, he has better tendencies than uh, Magic Johnson. So, in my opinion, bro, LaMelo, LaMelo is one of the best point guards in the game. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely my opinion. So, now, since the market has crashed, what should you be doing? Probably picking up players, but then again, man, 2K21 does drop in two months. So, it's kind of hard to tell what you should be doing right now. Definitely the Pink Diamond Filter, man. Definitely the lowest Galaxy Oval Filter. And also, man, I did snipe out LaMelo Ball on my Twitter. I'm just kidding. That was all cap. But if you saw that picture, that was cap. I did not snipe him out. I'm just letting you guys know. But yes, um, here we go. Galaxy Opal. Uh, Galaxy Opal. Uh, you know the filter's been going off, man. The next filter's been going crazy. And yes, the packs are still out. So I would definitely try recommend buying RJ Hampson Oneka and cole anthony and try to snipe those cards out because you're gonna make a lot of mt that way i promise you that is going to be lots of mt made and also man cheapest galaxy oval snipe filter man you never know what's gonna pop up jason kidd's price dropped about 10k so i think from here on out the market's just gonna continue to crash until 2k21 in which i'm fine with that i have a lot of mt to go by the only cards that never crash are prime cards prime cards will always hold their value they're always rare so that's why i say if you really want to invest i feel like the only cards are prime cards unless you see very op cards like a Giannis opal going for like 800k and then he'll go up to a mil that's what i think that's my personal opinion so going over Giannis, man let's go over galaxy over Giannis and pink Don. yeah he's still super overpriced and then let's go over the point guard Giannis, man one of the best cards in the game to this day 212k that's a pretty good price i think it could rise to 300 this card is still amazing even with 30 30 hall of fame badges he's not even outdated he gets the best animations 97 speed at point guard he's gonna be able to clamp up almost any point guard in the game with that height and he's just speed so Giannis, in my opinion the best player in the world right now he's gonna be pricey the whole year man and next year we're gonna see a Giannis again and also man 2k21 hype in the chat guys who is hype for 2k21 because bro i am so hyped i'm posting six to ten videos the first day of 2k21 i'm so excited yes this isn't for that but yo 2k21 is coming i'm excited we're about two months out of 2k21 and i am super hyped but yeah let's continue to go over opals also is it a good day to sell today in my opinion i'm gonna say sell today because the market's really not gonna go back up if anything i'll go back up sunday but i think the market's crashed right now and i'm sorry if you hear the landscapers in the back bro the market is crashed right now so what that means is the market's gonna crash even harder tomorrow guys friday they always drop packs if they're not dropping packs i don't know what they're doing they're gonna drop some sick packs tomorrow they're gonna be very very expensive very very expensive so that's all i want to say the packs are going to be crazy tomorrow man it's end game there's two months confirmed till 2k21 so what i want to tell you guys is man get ready that's all i'm going to say get ready for a huge market crash tomorrow in which the market is already crashed and also i'm going to just show you a couple filters real quick before the video does end galaxy oval thunder man buy out payton buy out sean kemp try sniping out kd other kd and rashad lewis if you snipe them out man you get this kd you make it under k you get rashad lewis you make a mil i'm just saying there's very good snipe filters in this game and if you follow these snipe filters you're gonna make a lot of mt and not only that man you could go next and then you could just go lamello ball but i refer I, I prefer next you could get anthony edwards you could get a ton of players so here we go next you buy out Oneka, RJ Hampton, and Cole Anthony, and then you try to get Wiseman, which is about 400k, in which I sold mine for 320 yesterday. Oh no, he's about 300k. So we got um, Wiseman, Cole Anthony. So we get tonight about Wiseman, Hampton, and Lamella Ball. And this is the last day that packs are out, so people might be spamming packs. I think it's a good filter to go on today. And not only that, man, locking for Zion really isn't a bad idea for like 1.5 mil. You do get one of the best point guards in the game, along with one of the best centers in the game, and Lamella Ball, one of the best point guards in the game, plus RJ Hampton's mad nice. He will be a good, and Anthony Edwards. Like, this set's a no-brainer in my opinion. I want to lock in Zion, but it is expensive, and I kind of do want to hold my MT, but... In my opinion, this is one of the best sets in the game, man. You get four to five usable players. Hampton, Wiseman, LaMelo Ball, Anthony Edwards, and Hampton are all usable, plus Zion. So, in my opinion, this set's insane. But yeah, other than that, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. I do think Prime's coming out tomorrow, but I also don't think it is. I don't know what's going on. We shall see. Either way, market crash tomorrow. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content because we know you know we drop content. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.